Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we have another quick video for you. We're going to be looking at how to connect your modem with your router. This is a pretty quick and easy process once you know what you have to connect to. Spoiler alert, all you need is an ethernet cable. That is how you connect your modem and router. But let's get into the specifics of where on each of these devices you connect that ethernet cable to. We'll start with your router, then we'll look at the modem. All right, here we are with your router. If you look at the back of your router, you have multiple ethernet ports. You want to connect the ethernet cable that's going to be connected to the modem into the what's called the WAN port. And the WAN port is the wide area network for your router's connection to the internet. This will be a unique ethernet port. As you can see on my router, it's blue. Let's take a closer look at the back of the router and make that connection. Here we are, here's a close-up of the ethernet port on my router. As you can see that WAN port, it's labeled internet and that is the port that you want to connect your ethernet cable to that's also going to be connecting to your modem. So let's go ahead, let's take our ethernet cable Move the camera there a little bit. There you go. That's step one. All right. Step one is complete. We have our Ethernet cable connected to the back of our router. In order to complete this connection, we need to bring our modem back into the picture here. And what's easy about this is if you look at the back of your modem, you'll only find one Ethernet port. It's labeled Ethernet that's where you connect the other end of your ethernet cable doesn't take a rocket science to figure that out so let's connect the other end of this ethernet cable to our modem and that completes the connection between our modem and router all right so at this point our modem and router are connected all we need to do is connect the power cable to the modem connect the power cable to our router and then also connect our modem to our internet service provider. This is a cable modem, so I need a coaxial cable from my internet service provider that connects here. And this will connect out to the street, out to the broader internet connection. What you'll find with these connections in any home network, regardless of the type of modem or router that you have, you'll be connecting these devices with ethernet cables obviously if your modem and router are connected into one device and you have a modem and router combination device you don't have to worry about this step but this should be all you need to know at this point if you don't believe me i will link to a blog post down below that talks about modem and router cap uh, compatibility i should say you'll find that regardless again of the make and model of your modem and router, they'll always have the ability to work together through this ethernet cable. Thanks for joining me on this episode from Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next one.